Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Play of the Week for Swing Idea with myself and Breakout Plays. I hope everyone's having a really nice weekend. Today is Sunday, April 2nd. It is not April Fool's. This is not a joke. And hopefully having a nice Palm Sunday. Those of you having Passover this week, happy Passover. So let's talk about what's happening for this week. This is uh, courtesy of the Trade Exchange. I love them. They're amazing. You definitely, if, you, if you're looking for a news desk service, you can definitely try them out. Uh, the great, great news desk. And so here's what's going on this week. We have obviously uh, top earnings this week uh, listed up here. But we've got some Fed speakers tomorrow morning, obviously. We've got Fed speaker Bullard and Cook again. We've got the um, manufacturing construction spending report coming. And then on Tuesday, a couple more Fed speakers, Cook and Mester again. We've got the Jolts report, factory orders. Then we got the IDP uh, employment report. And then we got the ISM service report. We got the Fed's bu uh, Bullard again on Thursday. Jobless claims report Thursday as well. And don't forget the bond market closes early Thursday. And the market is closed Friday, as you guys know, as a result of the Good Friday and the holiday weekend. And we also will have, though, even though the market's closed, we'll still be getting the U.S. employment report and consumer credit report. That is still going to be released and coming out. Then we have a couple shareholder meetings this week as well. Disney has a shareholder meeting on Monday. And then uh, you could see here uh, some other ones. Oh, yeah. Walmart and Costco, just to remind you guys, has an investors event on Wednesday. So add those on your watch list because usually, especially with Walmart, uh, last year when they had the investors call, the stock was actually popping. And I have to say the Walmart chart is pretty good. So keep a watch on Walmart as well. Um, anything else here this week? Um, no, I think I've pretty much mentioned all the uh, events that are happening this week. So this is courtesy of the Trade Exchange. Uh, just to mention here as well, this is the Fed speaker list. So anything in red, this tells you the time. So you can see you've got a Fed speaker tomorrow morning, 8.30. Then we don't have any until 4.15, thank goodness. And then Tuesday at 1.30, we have Lisa Cook. And then we don't have any more Fed speakers till Thursday, 10 o'clock, James Bullard. So hopefully he won't ruin our weekend. He does <laughs> something stupid. Okay, so now over to um, the charts here. You can see QQQ, very strong this week. Really happy with the action here. And still, you know what, I am looking for, Q I've talked about this on Twitter Spaces as well. I'm actually looking for QQQ to have a continuation and head towards 3.30. I've been mentioning it myself. Stratton Oaks been mentioning it. So looking for the continuation. Also have SPY, looking for SPY to make its, its move up. And uh, looking for SPY to have a continuation as well. My target on uh, SPY is 420. And then uh, I want to just comment quickly on IWM. Uh, we've had some very interesting money flow coming through on IWM. And it did trigger to go long. So I still think we're going to have a nice move on the IWM. Uh, so keep a watch on that. But my play of the week this week is going to be as you guys know, my friend NVIDIA, I've been talking about NVIDIA for quite some time, ever since they had the event with the um, Jensen's uh, leather jacket. I mean, look at these candles. I mean, I love these juicy candles. Like, just like, this is like, to me, like a blow up. And so you could see here, NVIDIA looking to move to the upside. I want to comment, NVIDIA has had a 52 week closing high. When you see something like that on a chart that demonstrates strength, and anyone that's looking at these charts is going to want to be in a stock that has a strong close, 52-week closing high, is definitely, look, everyone's eyes are on it. And I'm guaranteed people are in this trade. I'm in this trade, but I'm sure a lot of people that trade comments, they must, I'm sure they're in this trade. So we're going to be looking for continuation. My target on uh, NVIDIA is um, $300. So obviously, I'm looking at this in $5 increments, and so I want to see it continue this week. If it gets over this um, 279.29, oh, no, I think it did go over that. Um, that'll be a nice move here and make our start making our trend uh, up to $300. So definitely have to watch uh, NVIDIA for that continuation. The other thing, too, is like uh, this, three, this uh, AI stuff's been really popular, as you guys know, and you can see here with AI, it, that also popped. And so as a result, you can see stocks like Microsoft, NVIDIA, uh, even probably other ones that uh, will be talked about are connected with this AI stuff. And last but not least, I just want to mention that uh, Van Eck is looking to enter the robotics sphere. They filed for a new ETF. It's going to be called 
um, I'm going to see I bought and according to their prospectus and what's going to happen is that uh, it's going to actually hold companies like Nvidia in that ETF. So I really like that a lot. And so looking for some continuation, some action. So keep keep a watch for this I bought uh, ETF coming out and one to watch with um, with uh, Vanguard there, Vanek. So that's pretty much my play of the week is going to be Nvidia. I want to see it go and make a move to that $300 level. And I love that it had that 52 week closing high and I'm long on Nvidia and I want to see it go. So I'm going to turn it over to breakout plays and see what he thinks of my pick. And then I want to hear his pick because he's got a good one too. So over to you breakout plays. Thank you Vegas. Yeah. I agree with you with uh, Nvidia, you know, they, um, they're a big part of the, the supply of the AI servers, as we talked about the other week, uh, NVIDIA and AMD. So as we mentioned earlier, 2023 is, a, is the year for artificial intelligence. So looking at this chart with NVIDIA, I don't see a stop anytime soon. I mean, it's a strong a strong stock. I just don't see a stop in, to you, a point. To, I, I got 290, but I can see us keep going. I mean, it's got some great strength. It's been strong. It's got some good volume pouring into it over the weeks. And... Short term, yeah, I, I like it at 290 to 300 myself. So, um, yeah, I, I agree. Keep your eyes on NVIDIA. I think it's got a long way to go. So um, my pick for the week, Vegas, is going to be NVIDIA. And I know you've been pounding the table on this for weeks. I think you've literally gone up about 50, 60 points, if not more. Since oh, meta, 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 yeah. yeah I, th I, think, I think he was calling it out down here, you know, 160, <laughs> 170, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, with a short week this week, I, I think if we get over 213 this week, we're going to easily see 220. With the uh, Tesla's downtrend line, I think it wouldn't be out of the ordinary if we see 225, 226 this week on Meta. But as a target for the week, on the four-day week, I like it for 220. I mean, a similar thing, that, that's been strong as well. Um, and I just don't see no scenario in a strong market where this doesn't hit 220 this week, maybe even 225, 226. So yeah, that, that's my pick of the week. That's the one I'll be watching. I'll also be watching NVIDIA. You know, there, there's a lot of strong names out there. If the strength continues this week, we got some really nice plays. It's been hard to pick and single one out this week. But um, like I said, for, for momentum reasons and the short week, I'm going to go with Meta. But I'll be watching on NVIDIA too. Well, that's great. I really appreciate that. And uh, for those of you listening uh, to the show, sometimes people want to know uh, your website. And uh, I just want to show them your site. If anybody wants to check out Breakout Plays, his, his website is at Breakout Plays. It's breakoutplays.com. You can check him out there, and he's got a great service, and you can check out his his um, features and, just, and decide if you want to participate. Um, if you're interested in my service as well, I have here um, I Love Stocks 1. My link is in my Twitter page, so just go to my Twitter at I Love Stocks 1, and you'll be able to come here and decide what you want. Not everyone is uh, a uh, day trader, so I have a swing service. You can go into the swing service and see if that's something you like. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope everyone has a great weekend and uh, look forward to seeing you guys next week. Oh, you know what I want to mention before you guys go? Sorry. I had an education product here from Joe Fami, And as you guys know, he is so brilliant and so engaging. And uh, he always... Uh, is very good about giving good educational content and he has a um promotion you're welcome to use code take 200 off and uh you can participate it's not a chat room service by the way so don't think that uh, if you were to consider it you're going to be into a chat room with alerts you're not getting any alerts it's just educational content so if you're interested check it out you won't regret it okay so that's it for today i hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, Breakout Plays, again, his site, breakoutplays.com. Follow him at Breakout Plays one on Twitter. Hopefully, you guys have a great weekend. Anything else to add, Breakout Plays, before we go? Uh, no, I think we've covered about all Vegas. But um, just remember, guys, it's a short week. You know, Maybe low volume, but that's not going to say if anything starts going up, it's not going to complete these setups. So just hope you all make money and stay safe out there. Yeah, have a great week, everyone. Happy Easter. Happy Passover. See you guys next week.